condition is basically a box for script. Um, using the script code in condition box allows the creation of more complex triggers. This trigger will activate when the script code block returns true. If you leave the condition box blank, the trigger will never activate. Condition. This is basically a box for more script to make, or script and code to make the trigger more uh, complex. Um, this, the word this inside the box, refers to a boolean defined by whether the conditions chosen within the activation options above are currently true or false. Now we move to on act or on activation as I prefer to call it because I'm bloody pretentious. Um, this script code block will execute when the trigger's conditions are met. So long as the trigger's type allows activation, any actions defined by the trigger's type will take place immediately after this activation block begins executing. Of course. On deactivation, that um, is a script code block that will, will be executed the first time a repeatable trigger's conditions check the turns false having been previously true. Simple. Well, it just defines what will happen when the trigger is deactivated. Anyway, I hope, I hope this has been some help to you. It has been quite uh, taxing to fully understand triggers myself, but you know, I'm learning, and that's why we're all here. If you have anything to add, please uh, post all useful comments down below. If you um, like this video and want to see more, please subscribe. I look forward to seeing you in the next video when I go on to yatter on about synchronization. Bye-bye.